Oh, hij staat in de fik. Ja. Firefighter. One repair done, 55 more to go. Um, since this is quite a critical point of the car, it's like the point where you jack the car up, or in our case we do it here, but <laughs> this is where it's meant, meant to be jacked up. Um, we're going to fix this next. And both sides have quite similar damage. This uh, plate is warped, it's actually rotted off. Um, so we're going to tackle this and we're going to repair this and then we had the great idea that if we've tackled this then the car up until this point is done, at least on the under underside, then we will be able to remount the whole rear suspension, put it on its wheels again and then we can tackle the front much more easy. So that's the plan for now, uh, let's first see how bad this is. Now, vamos. Uh, yeah, so we did a very thorough investigation here, and it's not too bad on the inside. Uh, but we we see some like old repairs, and it's really funny because there's some crash damage here, but the crash damage is from after those repairs because they, they the repairs have been bent with that crash. Uh, so and this is quite bent uh, uh, inwards, and I think it's too stiff to just bend outwards. And also the repair on the inside is, is not looking in the best of condition. Uh, so we're gonna cut away this side, then we can save this uh, jack stand, uh, and then we have we have then it's fully open. We can access the inside. We can clean it and put some a new primer or whatever we want to put in there. As we already explained, there's quite a big dent present here in, in the left of the car uh, because of the, the crash. And since we now got a hole in the back here, this is the perfect opportunity to try to at least kinda make this dent smaller so we don't have to use too much filler.
tape the pole into, uh, into our door sill, which we agreed on, that's what we're gonna call it, a door sill. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not, uh, from what we could see, it's not too, too bad from the inside, but it's just there's some dust and shit, and we want to clean it out, see if we can kind of sand it thing, and then prime it so that it won't rust further than it is. But the problem is, yeah, it's a door sill, you can, cannot really access it, so we made this. Uh, uh, this, is, this is Bob, brush on broomstick. <laughs> We call him Bob. So where we started to <laughs> think about making the, the, the sail all nice and everything, that's why we cut this open, we found in classic pentaxle style some bad metal and so we cut it away. <laughs> and now this hole is quite large, again. <laughs> we did it again. Um, but in the spirit of, uh, as Robert always says, now that you're here, just fix it properly. <laughs> You can, we, we cut away all the bad metal and now we're gonna paint it, paint the inside, then we're gonna have dinner, then we're gonna come back. It's not gonna be too hard, I think, if we have already made this, then this is uh, quite easy to do. So. Yeah, you must have the trollolo only with the main image mix. Okay, no, so we have this stuff, we, it's used in boating a lot to prevent rust underwater but also above water line. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we also read that a lot of people just use it on classic cars to prevent rust from uh, appearing. And also it is applicable on rust, so on places where we cannot 100% remove all the rust we can just safely apply this. We'll convert the rust and protect the metal under it. Um, so it's the perfect stuff. So we're gonna put it in the door sill. Say hello to Bob 2.0. Brush on the broomstick. Oh, what hole. Oh, what hole. Junge, Junge, Junge. I think I can now. Een lijpe cameraman nu, want ik ben de focus zeg maar mee aan het trekken de hele tijd. Jij gaat zo heen en weer en dan moet ik de focus. Uh... Kijk die focus erin, dan gedraaid worden. Dat is op zich wel het mooie van water, dat zoek je altijd op het diepste punt. So while Robert is working on this. I'm gonna see if I can repurpose this 
Jack stands, moans. Als jij nou eens even vertelt wat er gebeuren gaat vandaag. Oké. Okay. Today we are starting to uh, patch it up, to close it off again. We made this Easter uh, chicken. Uh, which fits in here really nicely. And then we're going to weld this up, put a plate uh, to close this off, which is attached to like the jack uh, jacking point. Which Nick has painted, so today we will close this off and continue working on the rear axle. Jan, kom kiet om mij, Jan, kom kiet om mij, Jan, kom kiet om mij, s'avonds, s'avonds in de maas. Practicing on the wheel well has helped us pick up the speed, pick up the pace. Mm -hmm. So we did done this in like how many days? Three, four days. Three, four days. It's That's including painting, cleaning, and everything. Yep. So that was just a big achievement. Yes, and we have to do it on the, the same thing on the other side, yeah. but just to stay motivated, we're first going to tackle the rear axle. Yeah, it's uh, been lying, it's been lying back there untouched, and now we. Uh, We'll see what we can do with that. Yeah. Uh, but this was really, really nice. One thing we learned is never paint your parts after, before you're gonna weld it because I did. I spent some nice time painting it and then I welded all the paint away. So <laughs> we have yeah. to weld it again as well. That's uh, that's how you learn. And now the paint is in our lungs. Yeah. <laughs> 